Listen to this. <laughs> you can hear the air coming in and out. That means you got a hole. Now, would it be simpler just to replace the axle with a brand new one? Sure it would. Is it cost effective? Not really. Now, if you don't really have the time, or if you're not that mechanically inclined, maybe it'd just be simpler than you'd have some spare parts. By watching me struggle through this and see that, you know what, once you do it, it's not that hard. Oh, too easy. Maybe you might want to try it. You can see there's some rust in there already. This thing here is just being held on by a circlip, like this. Couple hits and she should come right off. Just like that. Yeah, she's looking pretty gnarly in there. All right, to take the joint out of here, it's a little clip. There's a little clip on the top here that, that keeps the joint inside. This is it right here. It comes out real easy. It's not super spring loaded or anything. Peel her out. There she comes. Oh yeah. This thing is friggin' wet. Jeez. Friggin' bad. Basically all I gotta do is clean her up, put her back together. It's pretty straightforward. So I purchased the kit from BRP, cost me $69 Canadian. You get everything you need. You get your boot, two wicker clamps, two degrees, even a new circ clip. So now here's a look at the joint taken apart. It's, it's pretty easy to put back together. It's directional. This is the bottom. Goes in like so, like that. Make sure you got it the right way. This has got a chamfered kind of edge. It's like angled off to help put the axle shaft in and line it up. They're both splined, goes in real easy. Now we'll just put her back together. Installation is the opposite of removal. That's what she said. All right, so here's an important step. Make sure you put this clamp on before you put the boot on. <laughs> She's a tight fit. Snug, there we go. Sir clip. Put her on dry right now. Boom. Now is the messy part. Better put some gloves on for this baby. No glove, no love. Know what I'm saying? Any Trailer Park Boys fans out there? Or The Office? Just wondering. Doctor? Doctor? Anybody know what movie that's from? Leave me a comment. Holy, holy go! Oh. Now when I did the other one, I noticed I really didn't have a ton of extra grease. So, we'll see. You wanna make sure you get her in all the right areas. That's for sure. Now, I am not a professional mechanic. I'm a hack at best, but if I can do this, you can do this. Trust me, it's not that hard. Give everything a little coatage. Once you get the first ball in, then you're golden. The first one's the trickiest. You gotta do a little twisting. There we go. So you need some grease for inside the cup, and then you gotta save some grease to go in here. You wanna be liberal, but you don't wanna be too crazy. Put a little grease on the circle up here. Help keep it in place. Now, you take this guy, all one unit, draw it from the middle. Just gotta line the balls up in the slots. Drop her right in. Piece of cake. Put this clip back in. There we go. It's really hard when everything's all slippery and greasy, you know. Just goes in that groove there. Piece of cake. I don't know. Now, one important step that I've noticed in the past when I'm putting these clamps on, you gotta make sure that everything is clean. One where the boot goes, the inside of the boot's clean, and the clamp 
and the rubber outside is nice and clean so it doesn't slip. Gotta have a little bit of patience, which, you know what, a lot of times I don't, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, you know. When you push it in, you gotta line up the boot, and then you've gotta uh, squish. Okay, so get the boot. It's a tight fit. Oh, shoot, got a little grease on it. Okay. Boots where it needs to be. Like I said, you can put this on after, see? No problemo. So, we gotta feel. Remember, it's got that like chamfered edge on it. Oh, oh, we have contact. You can feel it. Okay, and then we give her a couple top tops. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at her, look at the articulation. Let me give her another. You know, you don't want to go too you don't want to go too crazy on this and screw this end up. Oh yeah. Nice. And it moves all directions. We're good. Putting these clamps on can be a bit a bit tricky sometimes but when I did them yesterday they went just fine you put one set of jaws here the other set of jaws here a little pressure on it and squeeze oh yeah there we go we have intimate contact she's lined up oh yeah buddy nice the nice thing with this kit since I've already done it is that it's OEM and everything fits perfectly. I know you can get aftermarket ones and ones where you can actually, there's an expander piece and you can expand this off so you don't take the joint apart, but you know what? I'd rather take it all apart and clean it. Then you know you're gonna be good to go. Okay, tension iron. Make sure we're, make sure we're even all the way around. Here we go. That there's how you change a boot on a CV axle for a KM. Same idea for any other CV axle. They're all basically the same. Maybe some few nuances here and there. But uh, like I said before, if I can do it, you can do it. I cut my boot. I can see it. Uh, yeah, son of a gun. 